Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, man. <laughs> hey guys, it's Al Wumi. And today, I will tell you guys the story about how I got scammed and how I was able to recover my money back. Now, the purpose of this video is to expose Agent Mark Smith since he was the one who scammed me in the first place. And to give you tips on how to not fall for this kind of scam like I did. Okay, so it all started out with Nathaniel Silva, the one who told me that he won the prize of $200,000. Uh, by the way, I can't see the messages from his old account anymore since he must have deleted it due to being hacked. But I will show you the real culprits. Okay, so, so here I am on, on Agent Mark Smith's message history. And notice that there are two uh, of his accounts. Oh, come on. Not this thing, really? And, and they both have the same username and the same profile picture. But I'll just go for the first one. Hello, I'm here for the giveaway of $200,000. Is the giveaway still ongoing? Thank you for contacting us. You are to fill a form to check if you are eligible to get a to get a, a form from us. Okay, I don't think that sentence makes sense. Are you ready to fill out the form? And yes, I'm ready to sign up. Okay, so 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 he asked me for 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 this information, um, the, the name, address, gender, date of birth, email, martial status. Uh, phone, phone or text number. Um, do you own a bank or any company debt? Do you own a house or rent or monthly income? Kindly fill out the above information and get back to me so we could proceed. And so I did fill out my personal information, like what I was told. Um, by the way, I can't show any of of this information uh, due to it being private to me. Please hold on. Let's process your information on our database for confirmation. This might take two minutes. Kindly bear with us. Okay. So I just had to wait and just let me know about any updates. This organization gives billions of dollars each year to Americans and Canadians for nearby innumerable reasons. For education, business, expansion, real estate purchases, inventions, research, community development, and so on. It's offered to so many different categories of people and needs. Disabled seniors, minorities, inventors, personal assistants, assistants, so on. Do you understand? And, well, I, I have one of the, uh, of the dis disabilities, and I do have autism, and yes, I understand. And I ask him, so, do I get the money? We hereby inform you that you have been approved and authorized to claim your user reward, your winning details, uh, ticket number, batch number, serial number. So kindly let us know if you have it written down. And I, I think some, some of that uh, information uh, probably has to be private. So I'm, I'm going to actually uh, censor that information on my editing program. Okay, I have it written down on a notes app. Any unclaimed prize will be returned to the Treasury of Empowerment Corporation. You are advised to keep your winning details strictly to keep your winning details strictly to yourself and not share with any information dividends or firm to avoid confiscation or unscrupulous act by the beneficiary of this program until your winning money has been delivered to your doorstep. This is part of our protocol. Do you accept the terms and conditions? I have read your terms and I understand. So does this mean the money is on the way now? Okay, then I got this message. Message from the FedEx delivery head office. The delivery team affiliated with the FedEx manager are ready to deliver your package and your winning prize, $200,000. Holy crap. Which will be delivered to your doorstep, but you will need to pay for tax liability reduction and certification fee. Are you ready to do that now? Uh, and yes, so what's the tax liability and certification fee? Finally, you have to get Apple gift cards of $500 from Walgreens or CVS store right now. So you will have to take a clear picture of the card front and back and send it to me. The code at the front and back will be used to activate your winning money and it will be delivered to you within three to five hours. Did you get me right? And well, 
At that time, I got those messages. It was midnight for me, so I had to uh, get to sleep until the next morning. I get the card from Walmart, but they're closed right now. I'll get it first thing in the morning. Also, this is this the final step before I receive the money? And he said, yes, this is the final step. Just make sure you get the card tomorrow morning, okay? Because we also have some delivery in the morning. So that we can deliver your package also. And so I, I waited until around like 9 something a.m. And this is the, the, the most dreaded part where I actually got scammed. Morning and I'll be on my way to buy the Apple gift card right now. Alright. Attain to other sentences now and make sure you get back to us as soon as you have the card at hand. The FedEx cashier will be waiting for your next quick response. And then I walked to Walmart, uh, which is the nearest uh, uh, store. So I bought the Apple gift card of $500 and then I, I rushed back home. And then he was like, good. Now take a clear picture of the gift cards front and back with receipt and send it here for a quick confirmation of your winning package. And yes, at this point, he is asking for, for a gift card code. Yes, just take a clear picture of the card, the front and back. We'll use the code to activate your winning money. And then I, I, I showed him the code for $500 Apple gift card, uh, both front and back and along with, with the receipt. He was like, okay, wait, we want to work on it. I will text you if we are done, okay? Kindly hold on, I will get back to you as soon as the FedEx cashier verify your payments. Do you understand? Yes, yeah, so do I get the $200,000 now? Yes sir, we are working on it right now. And then, um, th this is the, the message when I thought that, that I received my $200,000 prize. Congratulations sir, your payment has been approved. Now the FedEx men are fully ready to bring your winning package of Two hundred thousand dollars to you to your at your doorstep. Notes: You're to be home by this time, three thirty today, to avoid returning of your money package. You understand, sir? Yes, I am at home the whole time, and bring the money to me by three thirty p.m. And yes, thank you. But just as I thought that I would win the prize money, there is more to this part, and it wasn't over. Sorry, I have been trying to complete the processing since. Now, never completed yet. I don't know if you still have a thousand dollars of you right now. The activation is still required for a thousand dollars more. Can you try as much as possible for me to complete the activation? I will start coming immediately. You are at home. Kindly get back to me ASAP so I know what next to do. It remains more cards to complete the activation. Can you try as much as possible to get a thousand dollars more to complete the activation? So the activation will get to 100%. And yeah, I, I honestly thought $500 was enough for me to, to get the $200,000 prize money. But he but he was asking me for more money instead of giving me the prize money. And I was like, what? Are you serious? I thought giving me $500 was enough to complete the transaction. We are sorry for the inconvenience, but you have to get the, the $1,000 card right now. If you got the card, the activation will be completed. I gave you... $500 card, does that mean I have to give you 500 more just for the activation to be complete? And I was like, okay, do you still need another $500 Apple gift card in order to complete the activation? It has not been completed. That that was why we need $1,000 for the activation to be completed. We need $1,000. After that, no more money to pay. Yeah, it, it sounds pretty promising, but he, he, he may ask for, for more money uh, uh, for, for me to, to, to pay him. Uh, even even after a thousand dollars We only need a thousand dollars to activate your winning money and we need a very urgent the driver is here right now So let me get this straight. You need a thousand dollars for the activation to be completed, right? I give you five hundred dollars So I only need to give you five hundred dollars more for activation to be a hundred percent We are sorry for the inconvenience After the thousand dollars your money will be delivered to you right now. You only need five hundred dollars more, right? Just for a thousand? It remains a thousand dollars because if you can't get the five hundred dollars card, it can't be completed. But if you get a thousand dollars, activation will be completed. That is a promise. So we need it very urgent. The driver here is waiting. So you need a thousand dollars for the activation to be completed. I can send it to you instead of an Apple gift card. Sounds good. And nope, he's still asking for for the Apple gift card. We are waiting for you so that the activation will be completed. 
You know that at the time we, we gave to you 3.30, so you have to be fast. We can, so we can deliver your package to you before that time. And yeah, one of the messages uh, say that, actually forget it, I want a refund of $500. I asked him for, for a refund because I figured that, that it, it was a scam and I was actually very stupid at, 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 at that time. And it can't be refunded. Once you get the card and your package is delivered to you, uh, you owe me apology. Okay, just get the card. I gave you $500! That should be enough to get me the package money! Do you think I am after your money or what? I am a good Christian God-fearing man. I can't take advantage of you when we know how hard you work for your money. I know you won't trust me because of many scams going on, on now. So, I don't have a re any reason to lie and, and to you knowing the consequences involved to it. I'm a human being like you and have feelings like you too. I also believe that God is watching every step we take so I can't take your money, okay? So then uh, this guy just kept messaging me about giving him the money for a gift card. And well, instead of, of me having to give him a $1,000 uh, Apple gift card, he only needs a $300 card. It was all thanks to uh, uh, Nathaniel Silva who paid off the other $200. And he, he promised that, that this is the, the last payment and get your winning money uh, delivered to, to you. And I asked him, like, how much do I have to pay for now? And he said last payment is $300 for you to pay now and uh, to, uh, to get the winning money. And I, and I told him to, to, to keep the money. Uh, it's, it, it's my loss. And I was like, man, no wonder how I lost $500. So yeah, so so this guy uh, just kept messaging me uh, uh, to uh, to ask me to, to pay him uh, three hundred dollars in order in order to get the winning money, but in reality there uh, there is no uh, uh, winning money. Like he should uh, he should uh, he's just gonna keep asking for more. Like no matter uh, how much they they give to him. So after all, all that chaos from from Agent Mark. I had to block him. So after that scam happened, I then reported the, the scam issue to the bank. Uh, three times. Three times, I repeat. And none of them were able to do anything about it. Eventually, I gave up on trying to recover my money after calling my bank. Called Apple about the scam issue, and then calling the bank again. But then, hope didn't die there. Because I got this phone number from the banker about the Chase customer claims. Um. After vi after a, a visiting uh, there uh, this Monday, I gave it a try, um, called them up about the scam issue, uh, reported the five hundred dollar charge as a fraud, and they in investigated the case. And after three hours later, after that, that call, I I eventually got my money back. I was ready to to get to a nearby police station uh, the next morning to report the fraudulent scam. I even had proof ready to uh, show them about the scam issue, but I didn't have to worry about that anymore. So yeah, getting your money back from a scam, especially when it comes to gift cards, is not easy. Here's some tips. If you see a message like this, don't give them your gift card code. In my case, it's an Apple gift card. Otherwise, they will access the gift card code and ask for more. There's no telling about when is the last time that you give them the money in hopes of receiving the prize money. 99% of the time, it's a scam. And they will ask you for more money and gift cards, no matter how much you, you give them. So it's not worth it to give them money, especially in gift cards. So don't waste your money. Plus, if I did pay with cash on, on a $500 gift card, that would have been a different story though. And just block the scammer if they're gonna keep messaging you for money. Cause the thing is, these scammers want money. They don't want to get a real job and they think scamming people is a faster way to make money when in fact it's a legal business. But if you did get the scammer a gift card, there are three options on how to take action on this in hopes of getting a refund. One, contact your bank. Let your bank know what's happened and ask if you can get a refund. Most banks should reimburse you if you transfer money to someone because of a scam. Uh, two, contact the gift card company. As soon as you realize you've been scammed, contact the company that issued the gift card. You can provide them with the gift card's number, your receipt, 
and any other request information. Some gift card companies will refund your money if they can freeze the card or put the money in escrow before it is used by, by the scammer. And in my case, um, my card wasn't frozen at all. Um, they were able to access it. So yeah, so, so I had to uh, uh, contact my bank again uh, uh, about the scam issue and having to, to report it as fraud. And three, report the scam to the FTC. Also stands for Federal Trade Commission. You can report the scam to the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, at 1-877-FTC-HELP or 1-877-382-4357 or reportfraudftc.gov. You can also follow a, a police report with local law enforcement. I'm spreading awareness about this topic because I don't want anyone to fall for a gift card scam like I did. So do what you gotta do with your money, but again, don't give random strangers your money online. Especially when it's for a lottery or a giveaway of like a new gaming console or something. If you guys are, are watching this right now, please report this guy and block him if he ever asks for money. And the video is done. Peace, Wumi fans.